Malang. San Wanani. Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Welcome back again. Yes. I'm Shalom. And I am Lise. Uh -huh. And we are still the Madi Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we still the yes, Madi Yes, we are. <laughs> Welcome to all the new uh, viewers today. We're yes. very excited. In fact, we're always so excited um, to to create this kind of content. Mm. It's so exciting um, because we're all learning together and we're sharing yep. our experiences which is fantastic so yeah welcome if this is your first time please make sure that you subscribe and become part of the family Nemo. and also share like comment you know the drill by now all down there exactly all of the somewhere there. yeah <laughs> there. <laughs> okay so um today we actually just want to um touch on what we did um in last week's video um because now we have we have uh, shown you guys our dirty closet <laughs> in that we've, we've told you guys how much debt we started with um, at the beginning of this journey and really the idea for that um, is to number one I think what's so important is that you guys understand that no matter how deep in debt you are you can actually yes you can still yeah. um, make a turn a turn around yeah. yeah so there's no one who's too far in or too no, far out yeah. and there's no such thing um because if you do if you do start today you'll look back um at this in maybe three months six months three years ten years down the line mm. and you'll thank yourself for taking that decision today that i am changing my life i'm no longer going to live in debt and i'm no longer going to depend on debt um and have it as part of my lifestyle mm. so really that was to encourage you guys whether you have way more than we started with or whether you have way less or whether you have none at all um that, that would be fantastic if you had none, none yeah if you I don't have good for you well buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so really it was to encourage you guys and also just for you guys to know that like oh, to see how serious we are about this like and we're willing to share as much information as we can mm. but please do remember that we are not financial advisors and what we're doing here is just merely sharing our experience yes. and that's why we've called it our debt free journey so mm. we're not saying that this must be everyone's debt free journey no no no, no. Yeah. we're just sharing some of our wins some of the mistakes that we've made um and just the learnings mm. um that that we've come out with um mm. on the other side of being heavily indebted <laughs> okay so being still, slaves. yeah yeah <laughs> and we don't want that we learned last week that we don't want to be slaves yeah, yeah. so touching still on last week's episode um the reason why we shared the debt right so now you guys know we started with just under half uh, half a half million, a million yeah. right you and no. we were so young but it's fine <laughs> that's who we started <laughs> and today we're actually going to share the journey or the, 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 the that big step of how or the steps that we've been working mm. to actually get to the point that we're at today mm. Um, and uh, Dave Ramsey calls it the snowball uh, so it's called the debt snowball um, but essentially what it is is I mean a snowball actually so it starts out small right mm -hmm. and then as it rolls it actually collects more and more, more, and more snow yeah. and then because it's collecting more it goes bigger and bigger and bigger and it's gaining momentum at the same time and essentially that's what it is as well so now that we've listed our debt we listed our debt from the 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 smallest debt to the biggest debt that we had and we wrote down what debt it was so whether it was a clothing account um a loan a credit card or whatever it is and the amount the total amount that we owed and then we also wrote the minimum repayment yeah okay so it is the actual what the account is the, the total amount as well as that minimum uh, repayment the monthly repayment and then what we did or this is how the debt uh, snowball works is that you pay the minimum repayment on all of your debt in that mm. you honor every single debt and an yeah. agreement that yeah. you have made with whoever you owe right so you maintain that and then we look at the the, the smallest one so let's say you owe um, ish, I don't want to say names let's say let's say you owe uh, uh, uh this the, shopping the, the blue bag yeah <laughs> let's go with that let's give them colors then <laughs> wow i wonder what the blue bank is <laughs> so let's say you owe the blue bank you have a credit card of two thousand rand, and that's your lowest thing 
and your monthly repayment on that let's say is 187 a month so mm. what you do is because you've already done the budget and you know how much you left it at the end of the month you pay all the minimum repayments as you would but the money that you have left over you now plug as much of that as possible into that small account mm. and the idea here is not to look at how much um, interest rate goes to each of those accounts mm. now we're purely basing it on this is the smallest account i have mm. and i'm going to close that one first mm. and that's so we're looking for quick wins here yeah. because remember most of us it's not even that we lack financial knowledge like i think most of us have the basics of you mustn't live in debt you must save yeah. you must do all yeah. of it we all have the basics but it's the behavior that's the problem mm. so now it's the behavior that we're trying to, to to sort out and so if we have quick wins it's going to keep us going encouraged you keep yeah you keep moving yeah. and like we said the debt snowball gains momentum so what it does is that now that you're plugging in more cash in the smallest um, account that you have or the smallest bit of debt that you have you're actually going to finish that one way quicker than you would have and when you finish that one you take all the money that you'd allocated to that and you pay the next smallest one that you have so can you see that every time you close something it avails more money and then you just keep paying and then you keep paying and it's like the debt snowball and then it just keeps going and keeps going and before you know it well not before you know it but <laughs> after some hard work so, yeah. dedication, dedication sacrifice <laughs> sacrifice yeah lots of, lot of sacrifice after all of that then you will realize that oh my gosh you are now actually left with either just one payment left or one one or two of them left and mm -hmm. you're actually plugging in so much money because all that money that was tied in paying monthly um, debts to all these different um, items is now going to that one main thing. So which is actually quite cool because it really, really keeps you encouraged because now you see every month, or every second month, or every third month, you're scratching things off your list and you're like, whoo, credit mm. card down, let's go. Mm. Whoo, clothing store accounts, done. And you keep going and you keep going and you keep going. Okay, yeah. so essentially that's that's. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. It's so pretty, simple. Yeah, simple. Yeah, not I don't easy. know about easy. Let me not say easy. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's very <laughs> simple, guys. There's no like, ooh, amazing brain that needs. This is simple, simple, simple. Yeah. You know what your smallest account is because you've written it out. You know how much you can afford to throw into it because yeah. you've done the budget. Now start throwing all your money into that. Any extra cash that you have, yeah. you throw it you into throw that it, and yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. Close it. And I think what actually makes it difficult, so I was wrong by saying easy, yeah. what makes it difficult <laughs> is that um, your lifestyle may have changes. You know, you may get a yeah. salary increase, you yeah. may get a bonus, you may yeah. get all of those nice things where you're like, ah, extra cash. But now that extra cash, you have to sacrifice it. Yes. You know? And that's what makes it difficult. The yeah. discipline of yeah. doing this thing, you know. Exactly. So your lifestyle shouldn't be inflating mm -mm. that much. Mm -mm. If at all. No. If it wouldn't make all. sense. Yeah. Now your lifestyle is inflating but you're still in debt. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know? So you have to forego and like we did, we we actually had to forego <sighs> quite a number of things yeah. since we started with this. Yeah. Um one notable one. And I think maybe this is the biggest one that we <laughs> we still have to it do. It is the biggest one. <laughs> Yeah, but, but weirdly, I'm not sad about it. Yeah. But it's the biggest thing. Maybe because we don't know what it's like. Yeah. Maybe that's right. <laughs> okay, tell them what it is. Well, <laughs> the fact that we haven't gone on a honeymoon. Ha, huh, you guys are shocked, me. <laughs> Look at them. They're sitting there. They haven't even gone on a honeymoon. Yeah. yeah. So we got married. It's yeah. been, what, two years and some change yeah. now going yeah. for the third. Um, and by the time we got married, we already had that plan and the vision. So yeah. for us... It was a matter of because we are sacrificing things maybe this would be this should be one of the things that we're sacrificing you know yeah. and even when money came in extra money came in you know mm. and everything else that would come in yeah. we decided well let's put it off and we're still <laughs> putting it off so hopefully <laughs> yeah no yeah. we'll definitely still go mm. and i think um like because of our whole wedding story which we'll share with you guys um, yeah. in one of the videos um, like we said earlier on in the very first video, we weren't like intense when we started. 
you know mm. when we just gotten married we weren't mm. like oh, let's get out of date but mm. we knew we didn't want to get into, into more, more date, yes. yeah that was the one thing we knew mm. and so when we started getting extra cash like coming up and throughout our first year of marriage we thought okay no we got married in january we we still thought in our heads no we'll go in december mm. and we'd done the yeah <laughs> we, we yeah we were ready mm. um but every time the cash came in we would throw it away throw it oh not away well, yes. throw it yeah. <laughs> throw it into <laughs> throw it into um, um the dead snowball mm. so that we could get rid of it and i remember i was so sad because i realized um it was towards the end of the year that we ha- we had already put um about 60,000 rand mm. um towards towards the debt mm. and at that point i was like itching for a holiday you know mm. because we deserve nice things yeah. we work yeah. so hard yeah, yeah. and that's <laughs> the mentality yeah. that got us into debt in the first place <laughs> that is true <laughs> so um yeah and we re- in fact i realized first i was like oh my gosh we've actually over and above our normal salaries have thrown in about um mm. 60k into clearing our debt and then i told him and i was just like do you realize this like we could have had a boss holiday like mm. could have had a nice holiday but we would have come back and we would have still been exactly where we were mm. in terms of our finances mm. so obviously there are things that hurt like mm. it kind of hurts you know like cuz you want to do nice things with your bae you know yeah. chill on the sun yeah. but the long term goals i mean you have to sacrifice what you want right now for what you want in the future and that's going to be beneficial and more long term because if we look at it now since we started the lo- the um the 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 debt the debt free journey and the, the snowballing part of it mm. especially we we have availed uh, roughly 12000 rand a month yeah yeah just about yeah, yeah more or less 12000 just from getting rid of debt we're not even yeah. talking about like oh maybe i got an increase or he got a raise or he got a promotion mm. no we're just talking about just dealing with the debt that we had that we had yeah we have what now it was a, taking from our livelihood yeah essentially and and obviously now it yo know, it actually hurts because now you realize that we have more <laughs> money in the bank but because we're still paying off certain things mm. well, now you're throwing now you're literally throwing in like <laughs> tens of thousands into getting rid of debt mm. but i would do it 10 times over mm. i would miss that out on holidays definitely worth it yeah because yeah. also if you think about it now um if we were to decide to go on a holiday right now it would take us two maximum three months to, to save, to save it, up for right. it yeah. whereas before it's oh you save maybe 2000 this month and then you know what i mean so in that you are essentially giving yourself an increase by getting rid of debt yes. you don't even need to wait for your boss to give you an increase yeah. how's about taking control <laughs> of your finances Who's you give, give you yourself a debt like, like you know so it's 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 a lot of sacrificing that's not fun really mm. um Like, till this day I still want the TV and a big TV guys like, we we have a 32 inch like <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with a 32 inch but no there isn't there isn't ish. but but in in today's TV yeah, standards, standards like yeah, Samsung released of 8K now he's not even uh, talking 4K I was probably not even in HD. You, I don't know what it, I I don't <laughs> know. But I know cuz he's been saying he wants a TV but we can't satisfy those little those little yeah, ones that we have now. now. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Right. So delaying gratification is is never easy, but it's definitely going to be worth it because I mean, how much is that TV that you want? It's like 12k or something. Yeah, something like that. You know, so we could buy it easily. Oh, mm. just buy but the end goal is to be completely debt free so that you can do whatever you want with your money you know so that at the end of the month you can just be like ah oh, we've got about 50k left in the account should we head on over to Mauritius <laughs> you know that those are the kind of lives we envision ourselves living like not having to say ish yeah maybe let's go ask the bank if we, you know what we mean mm. so i mean it sucks to have a 32 inch um i don't really mind nice. obviously he minds he's the tech person so but you know it's those kind of sacrifices mm. Mm, and our couch <laughs> i like that couch it's fine 
no. Like you know, guys. I can sit and watch TV. You sit and watch. What, you what can do you sit watch? and watch your thirty-two inch. Yeah, that's fine. Happy. <laughs> yeah, and it's fine, guys. You know, but those are the sacrifices that you make. Like, mm. I don't think there's anything wrong with making sacrifices um, for the things that you you really want and mm. that are going to add such value to your life. Mm. So yeah, so I think that that was the really important part of of today's episode to really highlight that the the debt snowball is actually something that's quite simple Mm. it's it's does it's not rocket science it doesn't take a genius to understand it Mm. and really we have gotten encouragement i mean when whenever we close off an account or do whatever it's a party guys ah it's a party ah we Mm. get excited we high five Mm. dance around and we're on a high for a a good couple of days because we're just like we got rid of that much what Mm. you know and it's exciting (laughs) and it fuels you Mm. and you get to scratch off things or of, of um that that long list of debt so mm. it really is rewarding and those are the kind of rewards i think that we'd rather take now so that by the time we we reach 30 we're just like holiday you know what? i'm not gonna work for six months i'm just gonna chill back mm. and you know that you're covered you're mm. sorted because mm. you have sort of um created this nice uh yeah cushion, cushion. Bubble. yeah you yeah. know like you you yeah. removed you said, all yeah. the yeah all the noise and you're just exactly. dealing with the, the the stuff that you really need yeah. so yeah. yeah so it's worth the sacrifice sacrifices are good sometimes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> they hurt but they're good yeah, yeah yeah so that's just some of the things that we've done um that we've sacrificed and and like big things like um, birthday celebrations and anniversaries those are things that we, we celebrate but we always try and just like keep it here you mm. know like we're not gonna go all out like mm. we have literally not gone all out like yeah. uh, to do anything mm. you know um even with with Ona's birthday like yeah well like, he's not even going to remember it so exactly when he turns one he can forget it he's not he's not getting a party no, and what? you guys aren't getting an invitation because there's no part there's no part there'll just be cake maybe mm. That's an official announcement <laughs> to family and friends. There's no party. <laughs> <laughs> so when you turn to one, we're just gonna Yay! Yay! <laughs> we're so excited! <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Because yeah, he's not gonna remember it and well, yeah. We're not gonna we're not willing to spend money on that. Yeah. So Uzo was strong. But he'll thank us in the future. Mm-hmm. Because we're not gonna say Hey, you must wait till month end. Hey, well, I'm still saving. We're not going to say that. We're going to say, oh, yeah, sure. We'd like to purchase that for you, you know? Mm. But obviously not spoiler. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, basically that's, that's what, what we wanted today. to... Yeah, I wanted yeah. to share today. So, yeah. Um, and also, the, 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 the wisdom that you guys received today from me is a whole 28 la la. years old. Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like you guys need to take me seriously for real now because now I'm 28. From today, like from today, yeah, I am now a 28 year old. So <laughs> my my wisdom has moved <laughs> onto greater <laughs> levels. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys, but it is my birthday, so I'm just just saying. So yeah, anyway, please make sure that you share this content. Please comment. Yeah. Um, we love to engage with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank we you. will see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bro. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>